Hi, Hassan. Really well done on completing these tasks um, and submitting them for some feedback. Uh, it really shows that you're dedicated to improving your writing and, that, and that's really great to see. A lot of students don't have that dedication, so really well done. Um, also, in your email I saw the, that you had a couple of queries about the last time, so I've, I've answered those in your email for you. Hopefully that will make sense. Um, if it doesn't, please let me know. Okay, if there's anything that isn't clear for you there. Um, okay, let's have a look at your writing this time. Um, the first one that you had was writing the letter of complaint about your experience at a restaurant. Okay, so I can see from here that you have used a good um, letter format. So starting with Dear Sir or Madam, which is good, shows it's a formal letter and that you're starting in the right way and um, yours faithfully at the end as well, which is, is the appropriate uh, sign off if we use um, a name that we don't know the name of the person. So if we use Sarah or Madam, we use yours faithfully. So really well done on that. That will impress the examiner. Um, let's see what you've written then. So kindly be informed that I am contacting you to complain about my last night dinner at your restaurant. Okay, so, um, now, when we use kindly, uh, it's normally when we are requesting something rather than when we start a letter. So, um, you might say, for example, kindly reply to this email within two days. Okay, that would be when we would use kindly. Um, here is not quite the right situation. So, instead of kindly be informed, I would start with I'm writing to or I'm contacting you to, like you've got there, so two options there, to complain about um, my... Now, my last night dinner is a slightly... Um, uh, it's not a very fluent phrase here. So we might say my recent visit or my recent meal at your restaurant. Or so either my recent visit to your restaurant or my recent meal at your restaurant. Okay. Uh, firstly, although the ambience, now ambience is with an E, however here I think we would use um, atmosphere. So firstly, although, um, although the atmosphere was lovely, the staff and quality of food were awful. Okay, so we normally say although something this happened. So although the atmosphere was lovely, the staff and quality of food were awful. So we don't use but with although. Okay. Um, secondly, when I requested the waiter to change my dish, since it was so spicy, he did not respond to me and I felt deeply offended. Okay, good. So first of all, just on a, on a um, format uh, comment here. We need to have the full stop after awful and then a space. And secondly, when I... Um, now, when we use requested, we normally request for something or request something. Uh, here, if it's for a person, we would say asked. So when I asked the waiter to change my dish, since it was so spicy, he did not respond. So take out to me there, because it's from the context we already know it's to you. And we don't normally um, follow it with to me. So he did not respond, and I felt deeply offended. Okay, good. I would expect that the staff would have, have more courtesy, good, politeness, and to be highly responsive. Um would have more courtesy, politeness, and now just to make it consistent, we would say would have more courtesy, politeness, and would be highly responsive. Okay, and then we need the full stop just after responsive there, so directly after without a space. Moreover, I expected to have um, a flavoursome, so a flavoursome meal as we had seen in advertisements about your restaurant in the media. I would put a full stop after that one and say, however, comma, what I had was bland and tasteless food. 
okay, good. Again, full stop directly after food with no space. Additionally, good. As a, okay, so as esteemed, so we need ed at the end when it's used in a, as an adjective. Esteemed with an ed. Cus, so as esteemed customer, okay, as an esteemed customer, comma, I should be treated um, solemnly and my quest should be handled professionally. I would say I should be treated with respect because solemnly, solemn is more about um, uh, somebody's character rather than their behaviour towards another person. So, for example, she spoke solemnly or uh, she looked solemn. But I think the idea that you're going for here is treated with respect. And my request should be handled professionally. Good. Well done. Again, just with that full stop there. So making sure they're coming straight after the word instead of having a space. Okay, good. Last but not least, good. Due to all of these facts, I would like a full refund. So we need a uh in there. A full refund. Um, now, last but not least is good. However... This would normally be if you were adding another reason to this list, so something else of your your experience, um, because this idea is a result of your experience. So we're not adding um, more to the experience, but we're thinking of a solution. Okay. So I would take out last but not least and say, due to all of these facts, comma, I would like a full refund. So could you please transfer the whole amount to the card number supplied? Okay. Your prompt action will be highly appreciated. So this one, your prompt action would be highly appreciated. Okay, because it's hypothetical here. So if they um if they do these things, it would be appreciated. Okay. Um, best regards yours faithfully, Hassan. Okay, for this one, I would take out best regards because that's an additional ending to an email or a letter. And, um, it leaves quite a positive as if you are very, like, you're happy with this person. Instead, stick to that formal, um, sign off of yours faithfully, which adheres to the kind of, um, firm but polite aspect of the question. Okay, so your prompt action would be highly appreciated. Yours faithfully, Hassan. Okay, good. Um, the structure of your letter is good. So you've started by outlining what your letter is about. You've given some positives as well, which is good. So it gives you a contrast. So although there was a, a, the atmosphere was lovely, the staff and quality of food were awful. It's good. Additionally, your point about being an esteemed customer is a really good use of vocabulary. So yeah, loads of positives in this piece of writing. Really well done. Um, just a couple of examples of changing the vocabulary slightly. Okay, um, the ones that we've spoken about there and cases where we might not use a phrase that you've got. So for example, that last but not least, because it's surplus here. Okay, but take on board those comments. Um, let's have a look at your other piece as well. So this is your next piece, your longer essay, longer piece of writing, on um, the impact on of fame through the TV and the internet, whether it's a good thing or not. Okay, so internet communication, TV and even satellite channels have a tremendous impact on the personal development. Okay, good. Um, yeah, okay, so a good start to your essay there. Um, we don't need this uh, definite article, so a tremendous impact on personal development. Experts out the developing and developed world have, have debated, okay, so take out been, have debated whether media which makes, instead of made, makes, so keeping in the present tense because we're being factual, makes normal people become well-known has positive or negative impacts on their development. Okay. I personally entirely agree with this. Uh, sorry, I personally entirely agree that this is a positive effect 
effect due to the personal and financial benefits gained. This essay, Takeout Is, will discuss this point of view using examples from the UK and Oxford University to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay, well done, good. Um, like in the past feedback, and, and like we said, I outlined in the, the email as well that you'll get with this one, um, your introduction is possibly a little bit long. It's not very much too long, but we have to remember that we have a short time in the exam and that your introduction is really outlining what you're going to do. So we want to conserve our word count for the main part of the essay. Okay. Um, so it could be that because we've got two sentences to kind of um, outline the question, is there a way of making that slightly shorter? Because although it is good and it's written well, it really is, um, it doesn't add much to your answer. It's more of a descriptive element. Okay, so just be aware of how long your introductions are and maybe see if there are any ways that you could reduce them slightly. Okay. I'm not saying just write one line or anything like that, but is there a way of making them slightly more concise? Okay, and uh, there is ample evidence that proves, okay, that proves, with an S, the positive consequences when people become famous as a result, as a result of using the various mass communication channels. Okay. Um, okay, so the positive consequences. Normally we talk about the consequences of something happening. So here we would have the positive consequences of people becoming famous as a result of using the various mass communication channels. Uh, careful with your full stops here as well. Okay, so remember, don't have that space after the last word and before the full stop. Uh, the central reason behind this, so instead of this, the central reason behind this is that when people become famous, most probably they become a, a role model for a huge slice of the society. So they try, instead of tried, try their best to improve their personal skills. Okay. For example, the recent empirical study in the, by the UK government, so instead of in, by the UK government, demonstrated that 80% of people who become superstars changed their behaviour, okay, changed their behaviour drastically, and they became effective members of society, okay, of society. Uh, it must not be forgotten that many of these people who become famous started to curtail poverty in their society by collecting funds to support destitute families. Okay, so started to, I would, instead of curtail, because it's a, it's a bit of an outdated word, I would say reduce poverty. Okay. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that there are positive and considerable changes in the behaviour of people when they become celebrities, i.e. S at the end, due to their frequent appearance on the internet or TV channels. Okay. Good. Now, with this paragraph, everything is explained well. Um, especially once you've made those changes to word order that we spoke about there. Um, I would say again for this one, it's a little bit longer than it needs to be. Okay. Um, for example, just like in your introduction that we spoke about, you've got two sentences here that effectively say the same thing. Okay. And when we're writing an IELTS essay, we want to be very concise and to the point because we don't have any time to to write anything that isn't um, necessary for the question. Okay, so um, I would reduce that first sentence and say one of the positive consequences 
of fame through TV and internet is that when people become famous, they Im they try their best to improve their personal skills. Okay, and that would take those four lines down to maybe two lines, so it would make your paragraph a little bit more concise. Okay, when you're writing, it's worth remembering or even thinking about as you're writing, does this sentence add anything to my argument? And if your sentence is just descriptive, then think about a way that you could maybe reduce that or incorporate it into another sentence. Okay, so it doesn't take up too much of the word limit. Um, you have a good example there. So the reason empirical study is good. Um, and then you've got the part about um, trying to reduce poverty. Uh, I would add that to the example. So they become effective members in the society of society. One way in which they do this is trying to reduce poverty by collecting funds. Okay, so everything needs to link as it goes through. Um, let's look at the next paragraph. So, furthermore, although there is a case for average people who become celebrity because of media, they they becoming wealthy and improve their family's financial situation. Okay. Um, so, this sentence is a little bit unclear. Although there is a case for average people who become celebrity because of media, they becoming wealthy and improve their family's financial situation. Yeah, this one is a, a little bit of an unclear sentence. I think what you're aiming for here is that furthermore, um, fame through television and internet leads to becoming wealthy and improving financial situations for families. Okay. Um, this is largely because as they become well known, comma, many commercial companies pay them so present tense there instead of past, pay them tremendous amounts, with an S, of money to make advertisements for their products. Okay, um, good. Additionally, not only trade firms, but also filmmakers, so no S there, filmmakers, paid them as well to promote their movies. Moreover, if Hollywood want to publicise any of its films, they will post photos of these people in the banners and hoarding boards, so billboards, so B-I-L-L, -L, billboards in the streets. So it becomes a major spur for the public to attend these movies. For instance, an extensive study by Oxford University showed that 90% of these people change their family family's economic situation and become well-off families. Okay, so families here should have apostrophe S at the end. So F-A-M-I-L-Y apostrophe S. Economic situation and become well-off families. Well-off is hyphenated, so well hyphen off. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that the internet and visual media have positive impacts on people's financial situation, especially when they become immensely popular in society. Okay, so, um, you've got some really good points here. Um, I would say that your example is a little bit lost in the paragraph because there is a lot of description before it. Okay, so again, like we said in the previous paragraph, see if there's a way that you can reduce this first part of the paragraph to make it more concise. Okay, and um, IELTS writing is all about being um, concise and to the point, but trying to show your best writing as well. So there's not much space for description. Okay, so see if there's a way that you can reduce these lines here so that um, you get to your example more quickly in that paragraph. Okay. Okay, you've used a good sentence at the end to round off that paragraph as well, so it's clear what your main point is. It's just that it's a little bit too descriptive, so reduce 
your description a little and that will improve that paragraph no end. Okay, so to conclude, from the arguments and examples given, I firmly agree that internet and TV have, a, have enormous advantages, so not A, have enormous advantages on people's development. Consequently, their attitude and economic situations are improved significantly. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done. So, like I said, there are some real positives to this. Um, the main thing to remember is to make sure that your writing is concise and not too descriptive. Okay? Um, there is a temptation to write everything in the essay to try and show your, your ability. However, it's best to write less and use some really cracking structures than to write a lot and lose the examiner. Okay. Um, okay. Good work on that one. Really well done.